the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Anything that has been assigned by hell to destroy you between now and December, in whatever form, whether to come directly or to come through the realm of the spirit manipulating your dreams and visions anything that has been sent by hell in the name of jesus i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now hear me whatever in your life has stopped growing because growth is a sign of life are we together now? I don't know what has stopped growing in your life. Maybe the anointing God has, God gave you is still at the level. Last year's anointing is still the same way. No new thing in your life. No. Revelation, the same level. Prayer life, the same level. You are not called into a system of just maintenance. You are called into a system of growth. Growth as a shining light. Whatever has stopped growing by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Bible says at the scent of water, I decree and declare, may growth happen in that area of your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. I'm praying again. If there is anybody here that in the realm of the spirit, among the list of those who are deceased, your name is already there, written already, or the name of your family members, I'm praying right now, I blot your name from the realm of the spirit. I blot your name from the realm of the spirit. Now hear me, there are people who may not die physically, but when everything in your life shuts down, you are dead, even if you are alive. I want to pray. If anyone here is a victim of witchcraft, foundations, and any ordinance, something has hijacked you, you know it. You look at your life and you know that your life is under a siege. In the name of Jesus Christ, be released from it now. whatever makes evil look like good and then good look like evil confusing you and destroying you many of you have gotten into trouble today because you called evil good and you walked into trouble i pray for you right now with precision and clarity may your hearing and seeing be corrected be corrected be corrected be corrected your hearing and your seeing let it be corrected in the name of Jesus hallelujah now let me pray against losses whether losses of money losses of opportunities there are many of you nothing good stays consistently do you know the ability to retain is proof of strength in the spirit it says strong men retain wealth it's not just talking about money alone when God gives you things and it does not stay it is wickedness the devil has punctured holes around people's lives and any good thing just evaporates I want to pray for you the spirit that makes you to lose good things good people good opportunities good relationships I command that spirit to leave your destiny now leave your destiny now finally let me prophesy over your life 
beginning from now till the end December 2022 I want to pray for you I want you to receive this as a prophetic word in the name of Jesus by God who has called me I prophesy to you whatever you are a victim of now either because of the mistakes of lack of discernment anything you have suffered anything that has left your life opportunities you would have enjoyed but simply because you did not hear and see and some of you are saying is it too late to have it back by the power of the holy spirit and the power of the prophetic i reach forth into the past and i bring it back to your future I bring it back as restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And every hand that has collected what is your own. every hand that has collected what is your own you are there standing but it has never arrived because another hand has collected it in the name of Jesus by the fire of the Holy Ghost I release it to enter your hand now hallelujah a wrong hand collected the blessing of Esau and Isaac said this smell is of Esau but the hand is of Jacob and the smell is of someone else but the hand collecting it is of someone else again I'm praying one last time tonight Koinonia any hand that has collected what is your own in the name of Jesus I stand by the power of prophecy I overturn that hand and I force it to release it to you. Listen, some of you by next week you will come here with fearful testimonies of things that just turn around for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. How you know you have been exempted from the pain of this time is that God will force someone to remember you. I'm praying for you, whoever has forgotten you, and any spirit that has manipulated the memory of helpers so that they will forget you, may they remember you this night. May they remember this night in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.